Hello everyone, my name is Shy and today I'm ready to do some more Hua Chen Yu. This time I'm checking out The Flower in the Small Town. Um, this is, I guess, the official MV from his concert. Um, first and foremost, uh, I have seen this before. Uh, the reason being is that I actually recorded at midnight, <laughs> which is bad on my part. So it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. Plus, in the middle of it, there was a sudden announcement at 12.30 at midnight. Um, saying like, you know, please shut the fuck up, <laughs> pardon my language, but basically it was just like saying, please refrain from like making sounds and whatnot, uh, because there's like a quiet hour obviously here, here in the building. So I'm like, okay, I need to erase that and redo it. Um, so I'm doing this very quickly. Um, first and foremost, I do apologize if my reaction's a bit weird, because one, I am tired. Um, literally just got off work about an hour ago. Um, and two, I just didn't sleep enough. So there's that. Um, so I'm gonna get straight into this, um, and hopefully, like, with me re-watching this again, I can maybe see some more things that I wasn't able to see before. So, anyway, I'm gonna get straight into this. Without further ado, this is watching you with the flower in the small town. Here we go. Life is very long, you encounter many things, pain, spiritually or physically. Friend. He or she helped him a lot. But at this point, after this point, he uses the subtitle or uses the word she. Seeing how painful she was. Return to emptiness, state of mind unattached any materialistic concerns and emotional disturbances. He's talking about this person with like great sadness, so I wonder if something happened to that friend. So the song he's used many Buddhist practices, elements in Buddhist practices. I think flower is probably one of them as well, I need to look that up. The flower in the small town is the mirage explained by Hua Chenyu on the Uweiwo.
watching you, man. Just watching you. Um, like I said, I did did react to this before, so um, the first this just feels like the first time I've watched it. Um, okay, so empty. I'm looking up right now. Emptiness and Buddhism, uh, because I feel like that has a has a big part of it. So what he called it is a uh, sun sunyata sunyata. Um, Emptiness, fascinity, sometimes voidness. Uh, meditate. Okay, let me let me just Wikipedia. Best friend, Wikipedia. Pronounced in English as a uh, shunyata, shunyata. Boy, is a Buddhist concept which has multiple meanings depending on its doctrinal context. It is an either ontological feature of a reality, a mental, of reality, a mental state, a meditative state, or a phenomenological analysis of experience. Jesus Christ. Um, Sun sunata refers to the non-self nature of the five attributes of experience and the six senses of experience. Sunata is often referred to a meditative state of experience. All things that are empty of interesting existence and nature. But also refer to a Buddha nature teachings and primordial or empty awareness. Um, the voidness, emptiness, hollow, hollowness, voidness. So nothing. Zero. Uh, let me see after the emptiness. Sorry, I'm looking at the practices. I, I learned about, fun fact, I learned about Buddhism, a lot about Buddhism um, when I was, well, I, well yeah, yeah, Buddhism, Confucianism, when I studied um, the history of Korean culture here in, here in Korea back in uh, 2017, we learned a lot about monks. And I can tell you 90% of my notes, if I find those notes, it's going to be about different monks who, who did different things and different Buddhists who did different things here in Korea, so I, I'm like, I'm over it. <laughs> it's interesting to learn about, but like when you, when a whole month worth of your lessons was about monks, yeah, it kind of gets tiring. But it's very interesting to learn about. Um, emptiness as the quality of dharmas in the early canons means simply that one cannot identify them as one's own self or having anything pertaining to one's own self. Emptiness as a mental state in the early canons it means a mode of perception in which one neither adds anything nor to, to, to nor takes anything away from what is present, noting simply there is this. Emptiness, not to any themes. Chinese, here we go. Chinese Agamas? Agamas? Um bald snow, but dirt a mirage. Um, an illusion or an empty fist used to fool a child. Sumo vein, oh my gosh, it gives two set of metaphors. Sutras, um, sutras, um, when this exists is a common gloss on this panel. Emptiness. Oh, okay, interesting. There's a lot of words here that I can't really pronounce, so I do apologize. I'm like skimming over this. Um, so basically, yeah, it's the meaning of nothingness. Um, so I would think like this type of thing might be when when a monk is about to, you know, is that the right word? Ascend? Um, is that the right word? Ascend? So like they start to leave their body. So that's why I'm thinking, that's why... Hua Chen Yu in the beginning kind of talks about this friend with like great sadness and like you know this friend was in a lot of pain who knows what that pain is whether it is like you know emotional like emotional pain like there's something that they couldn't do so they had to you know kind of end that pain themselves um I'm sure you understand what context I'm talking about um or you know it's something that is also physical that is physical like something that could not be helped no matter what they tried um, so that's why I feel like he was talking. So I like you know y'all know me. Like I am an international fan of watching you. There isn't a lot that I can do in terms of you know finding information on on about you know about watching you or like you know things that have gone on in his life and whatnot. Like you know it's, it's something that I don't personally, especially you know like little details about his life. Like I personally have no, I guess you could say interest in, in those kind of things, especially like the littlest details. Like, I'm someone who, who watches, who likes to watch someone as an artist, just as an artist. Obviously, if, like, you know, the personal lives come into play, then of course I look at that, but then I don't pay any attention if it's just a one-time thing, if you know what I mean. Um, so, 
So yeah, Chinese Buddhism. Emptiness was first understood as a point ah transcendental transcend transcendental Jesus Christ. A reality similar to Tao. Ah interesting. One monk was mm, okay. But I have I don't know. This is like, you know, with Buddhism, I would want to say you can interpret it in you can interpret it in many different ways. And it also the interpretation of how you see Buddhism and everything of the elements of Buddhism, it is entirely also of your experiences as well. Um uh, so that's why for me personally, like and I, I'm watching to the atmosphere of how Hua Chen Yu talks about this friend and this friend's, um, you know, how they went to emptiness. Um, oh, I was gonna look up flower too. So like, taking that in, that's what I think. It, either it's a physical pain that no matter what medicine or whatever they tried to do, um, they could not, um, you know, get rid of this, you know, pain. Or if it was a mental, mental um, things and they could not do anything, you know, like I said, physically to prevent that pain So they had to take care of it themselves if you understand my context But if that poor person that if that poor person if that person is still alive um, That'd be thankful like that. They somehow got out of that pain But like I said, it's all up. Into, I don't I don't know a thing about any of this So flower in Buddhism The lotus represents purity and bodies beyond that Okay, so it's just very sacred it's a flower of peace. Um, and then a mirage, like if you, if you know mirage, mirage, I, I think of it with um, deserts. So basically, you know, you're wandering in a desert for a long time, no water, no food, no nothing, and you start to th see things, and these things are usually good things. So these mir mirages are usually good things, but they don't exist in reality. So um, it's just like, I guess with the, the, the flower in a small town, I would say like maybe the small town doesn't really have like a lot of like flowers or whatnot and it's like they suddenly see a flower it's like what is this good thing doing here um so it's like a good thing that ha that that appears suddenly but then it's gone um i think that's what they're kind of dread what ha ha was trying to go for in this one but yes i think for me personally you know this is how i view things um especially with you know my life experiences like how i interpret things and whatnot how because for me i'm the type of person who observes i am someone who observes the atmosphere i'm someone who observes how people are talking um, and you know, it's like, you know, seeing the Martians being quiet and respectful when he's talking about his friend and how he, it's, he struggled with taking, um, talking about this friend. It's like, okay, there's something not good that happened to this friend. So that's, you know, my personal take on it. If there's some other way that I am completely missing, do let me know. But this is how I see things. But regardless, hopefully you guys enjoy this reaction. If you did like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.